Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I'm doing an update on my pole barn. Uh, I got a little something going on here. I want y'all to see. Get a little, got a little bit of water running out there uh, to it. All right, show you what I did. All right, here we go. Well, I took right here, this is my frost free uh, hose. Goes all the way to my house. Right there. I got a load of frost line. Alright, load of frost line, that's where my lights go and my water comes down through. Separate ditches that is. And right down here, I got a hole with a irrigation cap. Irrigation hole, I got a 90 going on it. And it's that black pipe. Uh, here's the black pipe I ran. I ran a bunch of that. Right there. All right. Let's see. Uh, step pipe. Okay. Here we go. Taking a little tour. Okay. Got it. I ran it all the way to there. Right. Right about where I ran my solar, my backup power. Okay. To my shop. And. Come in through here. And I'll put another drain in right here to help the water run off. Right there, and it goes way down here on the ground. It's about two feet, two feet around and it goes downhill. And I put not put pea gravel in the hole, everything. And it comes out right here, right around my, my asparagus patch. Right here. And it drains really good. Especially when you get these big old storms around here. But yeah, it's a must. I just, the whole, I gotta plant some more grass seed there. And look at this. Got water. I put one in the front of the building. And I put one in the back. We got water. Hot dog. Washed, I got water, I'm going to water the grass with it and that kind of stuff. A little bit of everything. Got one out here. Outside. Or in case I have a little little bonfire. My burn barrel. I can, that way I can put the fire out. Just never know. Alright. And. Wait a minute here. Had to get that under out of the way. But uh, like I say, the sun's going down. I'll get that in a minute. But here's my other faucet in the front. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Working on yesterday and today. I got to put in. And here's my plex. That I ran right here and around that corner underneath the underneath there my American presser and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Wayne's coat up there like pant on uh, Luan just for like a safety just in case you want to back up and accidentally hit nothing keep everything kind of covered up but yeah here let me get over here. She runs on over here, all the way down to my sink, and over here to my other, the one that I just showed you. It goes right there, behind that post and beam. But this system is like an off-grid water system at all times just like, just like the other ones up here but here's my plumbing I got my drain I got that going to a French ditch that's six foot deep full of gravel and I got my sh shot off right there from my water right there and then I got my water going up to my hot water tank Right there, 
there's my cold water coming out. I mean, my hot, that's my cold water coming in. And that is my hot water coming back out and going to my faucet. All right, these all T-Plex. There's my shut off valve right here. And here is my hot water, okay. Well, here's the hot water right here. All right, I got me a laundry sink. Anchored it to the you saw tree to lumber. And I anchored it with stainless steel screws, deck screws to the boards over here too. All right, here we go. Here's a here's a hot water. Okay, right here it goes. I'm gonna cut it on. Watch this. As soon as I crank it on, it's eco temp L7 model. And I put a stack on it, and I put metal behind it. Just divert the, any hot air, anything. And these shouldn't probably be these shouldn't be put inside your house like this. But this is a big barn with plenty of ventilation, and it's no it's no more. Now I'm gonna correct me if I'm wrong now. And this is no more carbon dioxide. I'm gonna have my I got I'm gonna have my windows open and all that stuff. Fans going, just like that. But I have a jet heater right here. Then I'm put off. I need more carbon dioxide on with that wheel if you're in a work, workspace. But you know you want to have ventilation, proper ventilation. And I have a carbon dioxide detector out here too. So just get that straight, y'all. But this is just what I did. So don't go by what I do. But this is just what I what I did. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna cut the hot water on. There we go. We got hot water. And look, right here, stop with that. Very little bit of hot air coming out of there. That is nice. Anyway, you see the hot water, I mean the plane. And we got hot water, y'all. I mean it is cranking hot. hot. I'm starting to steam up the camera. <laughs> and you can adjust it to uh, right here. More gas. And as I said, this thing will run 20 hours. 17 hours on 20 pound tank of gas. So they're really efficient. To run hot water. You got hot water instantly. And I can cut down the water pressure. Like that. Oh yeah, that's, that's tasty. Anyway, you got hot water. Yeah. Right, you turn down like that. It's really cooking. And here's my cold water. Right here. Yep. Anyway, yeah, she's working great. I like I'm liking this. But anyway, there you go. That's what she's all about. But yep, and this is a nice setup. I'm liking the heck out of this. So anyway, and also I want to show you something else too. I got all these lights on, my LEDs, my fluorescents, some other building. Okay, and my refrigerator and deep freeze are also going. I'm going to turn this outside light on. Turn my other outside light on. How's this? Oh, yeah. We got lights. Alright, check that out. I got everything I want in there. I got the air conditioning going on in that building. 
with my solar. I produce over 10 kilowatt hours a day. Today I have. And check this out. My meter is not spinning. And my electrical is coming straight from here. Going to that barn. Right there. Going right there. So everything's tied in to my solar. But like I say again, she is efficient. And this other line here is for my cable. My cable, my Wi-Fi. My cable TV and my Wi-Fi internet. Well, anyway, y'all, it's just a quick tour. I want to say thank y'all for watching. This is KVSMC. And y'all have a great one. And it's 95 degrees here today in Virginia. It's smoking. And uh, y'all stay safe. Y'all take care. All right, over and out.